Hey guys, in this video um, I'm going to make, be making a uh, outboard, uh, I'm sorry, inboard spider um, or cat's head. Um, Holligan142 did a really good video on this. So um, Greg, I'm stealing your idea buddy because I actually need this tool now. Uh, what this tool is, um, it basically rides on the inside of your, your steady rest and um, it's, it has a series of uh, bolts that support your material. Uh, square material, octagon, tapered. Um, I also like using it on round material too because uh, these wheels can mar your, your uh, finished paint or coating on whatever you're doing or even cut a groove in an aluminum bar. So. This is even uh, good for round stuff because basically you're being supported in here and this is do and this is spinning on your bearings here. So I had this uh, piece of uh, water pipe, uh, two and seven eighths, 200 thousandths thick, um, just lopped off about six inches, um, chucked it up in the lathe and cut it concentric. And now I got it here mounted up in the V-blocks on the mill. Um, I only had to take about 20 thousandths off this piece. Uh, it's about four inches long and I'm going to be uh, drilling and tapping for the set screws, uh, the brass tip set screws. So <clears throat> anyway, um, getting ready to uh, get the uh, spot drill centered. And then we'll go from there. I'm going to use the center drill and get this little thing going here. Final size of five sixteenths, five sixteenths now for the um, for the three eight sixteen tap. Okay, just got the second one lined up. Center drill that. The nine thirty seconds drill. Five sixteenths. And the tap.
There she goes. Get these cleaned up a little bit, and then I'll uh, then I'll get it flipped over again. Do the same thing to the other side, and then I'll try to figure out how to get the um, the uh, the next set of holes drilled and tapped. But so far, everything's looking good. Can't wait to give it a try. Okay, here's the quick and dirty, easy way I found to. Um... Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I got this far so far. Um, these are across from each other. They worked out pretty good. And I was thinking, you know, how can I get this centered in these V-blocks and get them exactly to where these all match up? So what I did is um, I got um, one of these old school height gauges. I snugged up four 3816 uh, stainless bolts, snugged them up with the nuts so they're all snug up against the part. And there's no play and I leave I left the flats up on each one of them and took my height gauge went across here and then I brought it around to the back side and brought it around here and everything oh I'm hitting the mill brought it around there and it looks like it is centered perfect well remember I'm not a machinist so I don't know really the correct way of doing this so um, now I'm going to put my uh, my uh, Sharpie, who are my marks a lot pseudo layup die here, and I'm going to come in uh, six two five on each side, just like these. So I'm ready to drill and tap the rest of these holes. Um, I want to mention uh, since I already had it centered on the V block and centered to the very exact top of this part um, and I lock my table down I shouldn't have to move that uh, hopefully that'll work out that way um, I'll spare you from all the boring details of finishing this uh, drill and tap and then I need to run out and get some cap screws um, and uh, get some brass and, and make some brass tip uh, set screws and then go from there so far it's turning out pretty good I'm happy with the results so far um, it's looking good Anyway, uh, quick, easy, little, nice project, and hopefully it's going to turn out really well and be effective in my uh, steady rest. Anyway, be back soon. Just finished doing these two. Uh, now i got to flip it around and do the last two, and then uh, start working on the uh, making the brass tip cap screws. Just finished uh, drilling and tapping all eight holes. Uh, so far they look so good. I haven't tried to align anything up yet, but... Uh, looking good. Uh, I'm going to take my little uh, Tootsie Roll tool here and clean up the inside real quick. Uh, get rid of all those little sharp burrs and then uh, we'll go from there. Finished all eight bolts. Um, drilling, threading, aligning. Everything turned out pretty darn good man. Look at that. Alignment's like perfect. I got lucky once again. Anyway, next step is to get uh, eight cap screws and um, make some brass inserts for them. So that way the brass is touching the, the part and not a stainless steel screw. Anyway, that's the next step. Stay tuned for more to come. Here's a few, uh, few frames of it sitting in the steady rest. Too bad, man. I'm happy with it. Looks looking good, man. I gotta run out and get the cap screws um, a little later today, so uh, stay tuned for the rest of it. See you.